Oh, 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 Okay, so that was Capitol Reef National Park. Some day hikes in the area, my first time. And uh, yeah, this next part of the video will just be a guide. I'm gonna break down my trip start to finish and give you any advice on how you can do the same hike, the same trip, starting with how I got there. This is Google Maps. You can see all my red confirmed good green I wanna go. But I flew from New York City to Las Vegas, and it was either Las Vegas or Salt Lake. Uh, kind of the same five to six hour drive difference for this area. Why did I go on this hike in the first place? Well, it was late March, and most of everything I wanted to hike in the domestic US was just too cold. So desert hikes in this area of Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, is kind of what I do in March. And I've already done Grand Canyon twice. That would definitely like be the thing to do end of March. But I had never been to Capitol Reef. I've done Zion, I've done Bryce. So these three was the trip that I did. So I booked like a, a $500 round trip flight from New York into the Harry Reid. They call it McCarran or Harry Reid, I never know. Las Vegas, what are you doing with your airport here? Flew in. Went straight to my rental car. I did not want to hang around Las Vegas because it's just, it's very stressful for me. I just don't like the vibe. My rental car from the airport was 400, I think for five or six days. And then it was a six hour drive with coffee breaks and water breaks and whatnot, all the way from Las Vegas, past Zion, past the north of Price uh, into Torrey. Uh, to visit Capitol Reef National Park. And I actually did book a reservation at the Frutilla campground here for that night, but it was like 20 degrees low at night and it just would not have been fun uh, to tent camp. And to be honest, it was still early in the season. There were no green leaves, there were no flowers. There was the fruit trees that are very popular for this campground were just like, they looked dead because it was still, you know, coming out of winter. So I just, I was like, eh, not worth it. I'm just going to book a hotel. I think I stayed at the Red Sands. I ate at Chuck Balam, Mexican. But yeah, it was a sleepy little town. Half of the things were open, half were not. So Capitol Reef National Park has this main road going through it. I think uh, Moab is on the other side somewhere. And it's a very tall uh, national park. And there were two, like I didn't know anything about this place. So I just kind of went on all trails and searched for like the most popular hikes 
and found two. One was a much easier one. And yeah, so I drove in from this side and I think like right around here somewhere was the edge of the national park. So um, outside of the national park, put the drone up, sent it in, got my drone shots without bothering anybody, fly with respect, stay away from people, uh, brought it back uh, in the morning and then set off to do this chimney rock loop trail. This was what, four, almost 420 miles uh, with almost under a thousand elevation gain. And it took me an hour and a half. So this was a baby, little baby hike right on the edge. You know, the main area is like over here. So you hike up around and this whole thing is kind of worth it just for this. You can see I took some photos on all trails, this view right here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this for the thumbnail of the video, but this was a cool view. And then that's about it. <laughs> so you just go back down around and then back down to the car. And yeah, uh, like a thing like this, I don't even need water. An hour and a half of hiking with this pace. Yeah, straightforward day hikes, very simple. The second hike I did was just down the road a little bit past the campground that I had reservations for, but kind of ditched. It's still like $25, so not the end of the world. And you get into some pretty interesting rock formations here. And this is like a big slope. It's really weird to look at. Um, like it's a national park, so it's special for probably more reasons than I've learned, but it wasn't that crazy. Like I, I will say it over and over again. I'm not the biggest fan of desert hikes in general, but this is like what's available for end of March in the US. So unless I wanna go into snow and it's just not as fun. Desert hikes and snow hikes are just not, not ideal for me. So I drove in, parked my car, and then just started up, up, up. Nothing too interesting. Um, not many people in this time of year and this national park in general. Kept going up. I thought I would hit this rim, but they like I don't understand why this trail can't just like come over and go along the rim. Like it would be more interesting. I saw this in Big Bend too. It's just like kind of weird placement of the trail, but it's whatever. Once you get over this hump, you start to get some more views. And then Cassidy Arch is the main thing that you want to go down there to see. Uh once you hit this junction, so many more people, way more people, because what people do is they drive in to this parking lot right here and then they go up go to cassidy arch and then go back so there were tons of families kids as you can see in the video cassidy arch is like a thing that's different but arches aren't that interesting arches national park or i don't know Arch the arches in that whatever that area is um i think it's arches yeah those are more impressive bigger this is a very small baby arch so yeah, not that much going on. Had a little break snack and then went into these narrows and you can see all trails is struggling to understand what's going on three dimensionally as well as like the trail. Uh, yeah, when you're like recording with GPS satellites, they always struggle once you go into Canyon slots like this. And then Canyon slots are bad to film in because like the light, if it's sunrise or sunset, which is like usually the best time to film up high on summits or passes or anything with a view, it's beautiful. But when you're in a canyon like this, like the light, everything is in shadow at the beginning and end of the day. And then just the tops of the mountains, the hills, the cliffs are like blown out. So it's just never a good look. And yeah, it's just not good to film. It's cold in canyons. And then during the only time light would come in is like high noon. And then it's just never fun to film at high noon. So I don't want to complain. I'm just telling you, like if I have hundreds of hikes to do, a canyon desert hikes off season, definitely the low of the low. So it just is what it is. And then this, I guess, was the end of the hike, but getting back to my car, because I was by myself, I would have had to walk this whole way. But right here, I ended it because I was hit I hitchhiked and some subscribers, or a subscriber stopped 
and let me hitch a ride back to my car, which was super nice. I wasn't really rushing, but that was kind of almost a full day of day hikes in Capitol Reef. There might be more interesting stuff. Like I know people do like narrows ask like more canyon stuff up down but like i said that's kind of boring to me the other thing there is one thing over here let me see if i can find it yes okay so on the other side of the national park all the way over here i believe there's an off-road like four-wheel vehicle road that brings you here i forget what it was called lower cathedral valley so maybe cathedral valley like these spires look really cool. Let me see if I can pull up a photo. Of that. If I had a better rental car, I would have taken the drive out here because this looks pretty interesting. And I'm pretty sure Cathedral Valley, Temple of the Sun right here. Yeah, so Temple of the Sun is Temple of the Moon, Glass Mountain. So this is the area I was showing and this is the border of the National Park. So. Technically, if you droned right here, like you could get shots of all of this without droning in the national park. Um, so this would have been cool to do, but it's a very long drive, it seems. It looks like the closest is like from here all the way through here, which looks pretty crazy. Anyway, if you want to see the gear that I used for hiking and filmmaking and my drone setup and also like the... Uh, computer this computer that i edited the video on uh, it's all in the description in this gear link to my lighter pack so you can see you know i used a smaller pack for this hike and then because i wasn't sleeping in a tent i had way less stuff so yes that was my capital reef uh trip um it's okay it's a desert some canyon stuff wasn't that interesting to me but i'm happy i went out there and at least got to see it I'm not sure I'll be back unless I go to that Temple of the Sun area. Uh, that might be worth it coming in from the other side of Moab. But yeah, thank you for checking it out. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Try to answer those. This winter has been interesting in general. Uh, after the Nepal trip in November, that was such a long hike and such a long thing that I did. It kind of burnt me out and I just kind of relaxed all winter in New York City taking care of the puppy, hanging out with my now fiance, Mika. And, you know, Winter Craig set in, played some games, some factory building things. But I am ready and rearing to go. Got a lot of hikes ready for 2022. Some group hikes. Going to Israel in a couple weeks. Gonna shoot more of like a travel vlog, not much hiking there. And then May is pretty much wide open. I'm probably going to plan something for May. Uh, I would like to do California, Pacific Northwest, or maybe Glacier, something like that would be cool. And then my first group hike is in Washington, Olympic National Park, with a good group of subscribers in early June, and might be moving to Denver uh, around that time as well. So. We'll see, yeah, there's a lot coming up this year. I'm really excited and, uh, but I got the itch to just like make some videos and that's why I did this trip out to Utah. This is the first out of three videos, Capital Reef, Bryce and Zion. It's definitely a little different like doing day hike videos uh, instead of going on multiple day hikes and sleeping outside and, and starting like a long hike start to finish Kind of just finding little hikes and stitching stitching them together from national parks is different. Definitely not as fun. I don't think it's as interesting, but whatever. The uh, three hours of relaxing hiking videos to study relax sleep. I put relax in there twice. Oh, well. Well, that just hit a million views in four months, which is crazy. So that's pretty fun. And it's it's still going. Like, it's interesting to see how... Like all of these videos already exist um, like on my channel, but the only difference is it's stitched together. But the algorithm like kind of pushes it and then goes up and down. It's interesting to see these waves because yeah, uh, how much 90, almost 93% is from the YouTube algorithm being recommended. 
this video being recommended by the algorithm. Um, so, you know, it's interesting to see. I hope people click on what the algorithm recommends. But you can find me on Instagram. I posted some photos from my Utah trip. Capital Reef is in there. This is that spot I was talking about. Uh, a little bit of drone work. And then of course, Zion and Bryce in the Narrows. So those videos, those two other videos will be coming out soon. Uh, I also have a TikTok. You can follow me. It's just at Craig Adams, I believe. Um, not doing too much, but it's, it's interesting posting kind of like my Instagram stories here. So follow me there if you're a TikTok person. And then of course, the biggest, best way to support me and to help me make more videos is to click this join button on the homepage uh, to become a supporter of the channel. You get these loyalty badges, you get custom emojis, and you get access to the member only video library. So I've got uh, access as the owner of the channel. I can give you a little preview. You know, there's all of these live streams and eight hours of daily vlogs a bunch of Q and A's, some behind the scenes of like how I edit videos, as well as like old life updates and tutorials, reviews, a couple hikes, just all lots of stuff. There's like over a over hundred videos here. Uh, the last time I was in Utah, um, Colorado with Curtis. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. So this is only for members, but thank you for watching and take care. Bye. It's kind of a limp shot. It's a better shot down there. It's cold when the wind blows. Okay, good hike is done. Time to crush it back to trailhead. Let's bring it up. The wind, start of the hike. I am less sweaty. It's so nice not carrying a lot of weight. Now, this is a small pack. Oh, not too long now. Pretty crowded.